Hi, I'm Angelo with Romeo Tree Service in Tucson, Arizona, and I really like this duck brand bill. Duck brand bill. This duck bill brand. I really like this duck bill brand tree anchor. It works really well. Essentially, this is the duck bill, and it gets pounded into the ground with uh, with a rod. When you purchase the product, it comes with three of these, and uh, they have three different sizes, depending on the size tree that you need to guide. Uh, this is the largest size. I believe they call it the 88 size. I'm not sure what that refers to, but this is the largest size, 88. And you purchase this post separately so that when you pound it into the ground, it goes right into the duck bill. And you pound it at a 45 degree angle. The other end, after the duck bill is in the ground, goes into the tree. It comes with some wire clamps it also comes with a little hose so that the wire rope doesn't damage the tree as much in tucson we have a lot of fallen trees especially mesquites and palo verdes and so this is a useful product but keep in mind this could be prevented first by proper planting when you plant any tree you'll notice that the roots go out to the end of the pot and then they start to go around when when they meet the inside of the pot after you take that root ball out, straighten out the roots so that they start to go at a distance from the tree. That's a wider stance and the tree will hold up better to avoid the wind blowing it over. The other necessity is to maintain and nurture the inner crown of the tree. When you see inner crowns, meaning the middle of trees that are removed, trees have a tendency or a physiological response to actually grow long and weak. Something that is long is gonna catch significantly more wind or the wind is literally going to have more leverage over it. So uh, we're gonna install this duck billet. The first thing that we need to do is pull the tree back up as much as is possible. We have a come along system set up and we're gonna do that right now. The space between the soil and the tree is a good indicator of how far we were able to upright the tree. Here's a photo of the packaging. The directions are very clear, a lot of good detail. And here's a photo of exactly what is in the package. Three sets of duck bills with wire ropes, wire clamps, and their hoses. Be sure to hammer the duck bill and the rod in line with the portion that is in the tree. After you hammer the duck bill about two to two and a half feet in the ground, give the rope cable a good pull. This will rotate the duck bill in the soil so that it has a good anchor. You could get a good grip on the cable by wrapping it around the drive rod and then pulling. The product, the double guide, it was uprighted with the rope and the guys are keeping it in place. Basically, the wire rope comes out of the ground. It is attached to the duckbill anchor that's about two to two and a half feet under the ground. We put some uh, visual tape on it so nobody trips on it overnight. And we've also capped the uh, drip system that was at the base of the mesquite. This is part of the problem when you keep watering at the base of the tree. Water further and further out at the drip line so that the roots go further and further out and have a wider stance so that the tree doesn't end up falling over. This mesquite is not going to have any drips uh, watering it other than the hedges and bushes that are surrounding it. Uh, the mesquite will get its water from those drip systems that are in those. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please go to our website, RomeoTreeService.com, where you can purchase our 45-minute video, Mesquites and Palo Verdes, A Homeowner's Guide.